Fun done. Fun done. Fun done. And uh, can you? Okay, these are these three brackets. Pretty sure that's correct. Someone said that uh, that goes there and I'm pretty sure that's it. So I don't know why I never sort of connected the dots. Probably because my bumperettes have got them already. Um, that goes between the grill and the radio support panel, which is in there and it's hard to get to and you can't see still enough light, but that's correct. And this one goes somewhere under the headlight or something I've been told supports that, but I don't know where, I haven't seen it yet. But I'm willing to take their word for it. So that's pretty well that mystery solved. So thanks very much. And um, and now that I know actually where the, roughly where that goes, I'll, I'll look in my book and see what it says, because there's a lot of pages in my book. So thanks very much for that. And um, that pretty well concludes the bit about the three Z brackets. Okay, I'm not sure how much I should film, but uh, well, if Josh puts it in, well, you're lucky, and if he doesn't, well, you know, whatever, he's a mongrel, isn't he? You can hassle him. Uh, I'm just going to put the ball joints on the upper and lower wishbones, control arms, whatever you feel like calling them. And, um, they look like a wishbone. No, they don't, but they do. So they're all wishbones today. Anyway, I'll bolt them on and show you when they hook done, or I don't know. So there, they're all on. Definitely at the transition time because some of these here had half inch nuts with 12 mil bolts <laughs> and they're still the right ones i remember putting them in to be zinked not that they even needed they were already okay but i wanted them shiny what can i say and um i should have put them in too i didn't think of that i might do them myself later on to pence and um yeah anyway so that's them i hope i didn't bore you well, i did it on time lapse it was pretty unexciting stuff just really looking for the right um, hardware that goes with it. You know, the correct, even the correct washers, spring washers. There's the thicker ones, thinner ones, and um, some have got patterns on the outside, some don't. So not, it doesn't technically matter, it's just I'm a bit anal. We're still working on suspension and um, steering, I guess. So there's what I did the other day. And um, so, I, well, the other day, yesterday. And, um, I got some springs there. Those two shorter ones, which are thicker, I haven't measured them or set up for any writing on them. But I believe they were like heavy duty six cylinders, V8. I think they're too low for any use, but they might be fun to play with. And, but really what I'm into is steering boxes. Now I haven't got my Pitman arm puller yet, unfortunately, but this one's like smooth and free and clean and, can't find a tight spot in it. And, um, feels good everywhere. Might be something just just there. I'd have to check it out. They've done a lot of work, these steering boxes. Um, so I thought, and this one's like it's got a handful of gravel in it. And where's the adjustment point? Have a look. I'm going to turn it over. So if I'm looking here, well, no, that's quite a lot exposed. So what I think we used to do is you'd crack the bolt off and screw it up and take out the free play. And um, when it wouldn't go out anymore, the thing was absolutely had it. So, but anyway, these are going to be stripped down and checked and had new bearings, have new bearings put in them, etc. Oh. And um, so I was very pleased to actually find this in the shed. I didn't know I had it. And um, and for that matter, I've actually got an XT with another drag link and set up in it, so I could have a look at that too. And then this has as well, and so is the other XW. So I've got steering boxes everywhere, and um, 
So I'm sure to be able to pick one I like. Apparently the uh, steering box in the orange XW is a, um, a GT one. So, but I'll have to check that out. Yep, I've never read anything on it. Like, so I'll probably think that one of them. Anyway, so that's it. I just wanted to keep you up to date. Hey, check this out. These drag links, they are the same there. Go along here, perfect, perfect. Same there. No, they're different. Have a look. They're different links. Now, I'm a bit pooped. I'm uh, pretty sure, I'm not 100% pretty, sure they came off an XY. This is my one that came with my, my XY meaning the one I've been restoring. And I don't think it's off an XY, I think it's off a later model. So, yeah. So that's different, isn't it? And, um, so uh, it remains to be seen what actually fits and what doesn't. So there you go. Thought I'd just throw that in. So I got some new parts and um, I've been going through them. I've been opening the packets and having a look and they all look okay, I like them, greasy, you know, greasable, they've got a castle nut, which is not zinc, unfortunately, I think they're mostly zinc in the day, but I don't think I care about that much. Handbrake cables, I got handbrake cable front and rear, because I was air at the time. Some spring um, saddles, and rubbery saddle grommets. Idler arm, I didn't buy a pitman arm, and I'm thinking I probably should have. I bought some little things to hold brake lines down inside the the car not inside the car but you know in the engine bay i believe they are they were cheap uh i only have a beef with one thing so far because you know when you're putting things together you go oh, yeah but um these are the connectors for the tire at the ends the inner and outer excuse me i scratch my nose and um i kid you not like this is the one they send you and it's like really light really flimsy and thinking wow you know that that does a lot of work you hit a pothole and this thing here like is nearly double the thickness solid steel like whoa and um same as you know solid i mean they're, i buffed them they're not beautiful you know and somebody's hit them been doing wheel alignments with them with a pair of vice grips for a hundred years and um but still, I reckon they're better than that's not, yeah than this tinny old thing. And um, although this might be better quality steel, high grade steel or something, I don't know, and I don't have a anything to to test that with. What grade steel that is or anything like the you know the files you get, tell you how hard it is or whatever. So I don't know. So if anybody knows out there if these are really super super good quality. Can you read that? They call it a wasp. So I've got a hunch. They're putting their name on it and it's it's not going to take you into a wall. So it's probably just me. But gee, it's a lot thinner. And um, these brackets here look the, the, the same, except the nuts don't. And um, they're 12 and 13, which irritates me. But I have the original ones here, which are half inch. Here's my boy Leon. We've been up to the vault while we bought some bolts. What we're doing is we're, they're gold. Oh, sorry, they're, they're silver. Uh, the sight silver zinc. And we want them to be, pick up one, see, that colour. So what we do is we just, you got the cleaning solution. It's like an acid. Comes with a kit. Water, distilled water, it's rainwater in my case. And the, and the dye. I'm going to call it dye for the use of better words. Mm. It's not actually a dye, I don't think. Well, it does dye the bolt, so. And that's how it goes. So, you could just do them like by the handful, but it's better this way, and he gets to learn how it works. So, that's. What is that? That's. I'm not saying it. Nice. Is that how you do it? It's. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, still playing around with hardware, which seems to take days. Um, these are the shackle 
things and they're, they're normally a flange bolt that goes on it with a lock thread on it. You, that just goes up, no washer. But I can't buy them. Well, at least I haven't been able to get them so far. So I've got three out of eight. And uh, so I managed to buy these, which are pretty similar in size in every way except for one. And But I had to buy washers. Now these are apparently, he reckons, a high tensile washer. A bit thin, I would have liked them to be a thicker gauge. But he reckons they're high tensile washers. So, and they're obviously neoprene, so it's sort of modern technology, isn't it? And, um, so then we need eight of these, which is what I've got. So that's how that works out. So when we bolt in the axle, it'll all be honky-dory. And Leon's nearly finished all the... Should left after this. Yep, colouring. Isn't he clever? He's on school holidays, aren't you, Leon? And yet here I am working. Yeah, it's called slave labour. They made a law against it, but I, you know. I reckon it's character building. Isn't it character building? All I can just say is, not nice. <laughs> it's that fact. <laughs> don't you like, you don't like doing it. You can, don't have to do it. Of course he loves it. Don't listen to him. He's a, he's, a, he's a glass half empty, not half full guy, aren't you, Liam? Half full? Yeah, half full, there you go. <laughs> no, it's half well, empty. Actually, it's just, it's just a half, it's half a glass. Yeah, it's half empty though, isn't no, it? No, it's just half a glass. Tell me, if you drink a, a glass of lemonade, when it gets halfway, is it half full or half empty? It's just half. No, come on, be specific. Details matter. It's half full, half empty. Uh, quick browse. Got the rotors and drums back. Obviously, you can see the machines ready to go. Uh, I'll probably give them a quick sandblast and a bit of pretty paint on them. Same with the drums. And they've already had a bit of a blast there. So that's that. I've got myself a, a, another Pitman arm puller. And I couldn't get a good one, so I ended up going to Super Cheap and getting a cheap one. As long as it doesn't break while I'm working on it, I'll be happy. And I also, Got some nuts and bolts and I'm about to change all the nuts and bolts. I've just got some washers and spring washers, so I'll probably um, colour these. What's for the glasses? Anyway, safety glasses. Safety first. Very good. So we're taking the pitman arm off. So we've got some weight on it, plenty of it. Liam's going to give it a hit. I might have to put some heat on it yet. Give it a whack and see if she pops. Okay, go. something I'd prefer to give to Josh to do. Oh, we got it. Yeah. I'll show you something else now. Can I have a look at this? Just ouch, that's hot, don't touch it. Right. You'll see a double spline there, meaning it's there's no groove in the center of that spline. Yep. And that's so you can always line them up so you never get them in the wrong spot. Mm, that's smart. Yeah. That's so cool. we're gonna do the second Pitman arm and um, I've decided to do it in the vice this time. It's hard work down here. Right. And the hard work meaning you've got to get it pretty hot. So I might heat it first and then this goes on. It's still too hot to touch. 
Mm. Oh, they got it. Gee, that one came off easy. Ah. That was a beauty, wait. We succeeded. Keep it hot and That's... stay there. Right. So I'm pleased about that. That can go down here too. Even easier than I thought. Mm -hmm. I ought to buy a lottery ticket. Okay, I've got two steering boxes and I'm going to try and make a good one out of the two. This one's quite nice and free, but a bit growly. And this one's really bitch and tight, so I don't know what's going on with this one. Um, this one came out of my XY, or I came with it when I bought it. And this one came out of another XY, so. <clears throat> um, but it's got a nicer feel to it. So anyway, I'll pull them both apart and see what the story is. Get some new bearings, the usual. Okay, proving to be harder to pull apart. I've never pulled one of these apart, so it's new to me. And um, I've seen them apart in the past, but I can't remember, I don't want to damage this. So I'm not sure how that, I wonder if that's just a locking ring, but I don't want to bash it and I don't have the right tool. I might put in the vise and give it a thing. I've got a big shifter I can put on there, you never know, <clears throat> that might work better. So I'll come back if I get it loose. So this is where your bearings are. This is to adjust your bearing, the weight on your bearing. So we, we can get that. So they'll wash all of that, inspect it. I haven't pulled this apart yet. Oh, there we go. There's your worm drive. And I assume there'll be balls in there or something. And that feels, well, not great. But I'm gonna wash all of that. Looks like I'm going to have to get oops, needle rollers, millions of them. Got to love the smell of them. That's why it's so tight, probably because of them. There we go. Well, they're not complicated, that's for sure. And I was right about a second roll needle roll of bearings. Might, uh, I might keep them separate actually for the time being. Shouldn't matter, but they are sort of two main components really. It's, they're not rocket science. That's how you adjust the end play out of it with that. And I will have to end up doing some research on various bits and pieces, but I um, I think it'll be just fine. So this is it clean and needs to be washed again yet. So you can see how that works. And there's your other bearing cone down the bottom there. There's your bearings clean. The bearings actually don't look too bad and neither does the actual they're not beautiful but i'll check them out little rubber ring that looks okay i'm feeling this before i pull it apart this looks average so then i mean they're, they're not much but they're not it's not smooth and nice so i don't know if you can dress them or how the what the story with them so so I'll pull that apart, put you on the tripod, you can watch. I'll pull that apart and we'll give that a wipe and see what those parts are like. There's your ball bearings. So I don't know any ball bearings here on that. So I will have to wash them. I'm going to put that there. So they're full of balls. Another one. 
Oh, we're getting close. There you go. So I'm going to turn this back over. So it goes in like that. So I need to wash all of that and all these balls. Balls, balls, bit of all bearings and brakes. Okay, so I just thought I'd get out the balls and show you my balls. And they're, they're actually fine, they're nice and smooth. And, um, and nothing, wrong. but it's just a wrinkly bit, this, this bit here, you know. There you go. Just the wrinkly bits and, you know, there. So anyway, so that's, that's them. So I didn't film any of it, but I pulled this one apart and washed it too. And uh, I haven't done the outside properly yet, but everything looks in pretty good nick with this one. In fact, this one, although it was rusty on the outside, good gooder on the inside. So here's the, um, I don't know, worm drive unit. And, um, gee, this one here, I can't see. I'm blind, oh, here it is. It's got a slight, tiny, you can see this thing there. Slight little blemish there, but it's actually pretty good. And I bet it's been like that for a hundred years. And remember this one? That there, that's completely had it. So I'm probably going to use this one here. And because uh, I got a hunch I'm not going to get that part anytime soon. So and I reckon that'll work smooth and nice. And it was smooth, working smooth and nice prior to pulling apart. So I've learned one thing, they are all packed with grease, or both of them were, with even the same grease. So it's just, I don't know what grease it is, just some crappy grease. So, so what I will end up putting both of them back together. And, um, but I don't know, I'm looking at these bearings and, um, I think they're actually all okay. I just think they just need, like what I gave them, cleaning and all putting back together again. There's no issue with it. I'm going to put the steering box back together. A few of these things get zinked, they'll get zinked, you know. I'll zink these ball bearings. Won't love a good ball but zinked, won't they, Josh? <coughs> anyway, no, just the um, nuts, bolts, etc., etc. <clears throat> we'll get to it but this is the better steering box out of the two and not that there's any real difference with them but this is slightly better and that's be definitely better I only have one thing I don't like and this bearing seem to move they seem to be moving in the housing so I don't like that so I'm going to knock them out and I'm going to put a bit of a bit of Loctite in behind them so they can't move so now we're going to show how this goes together so wide end to the left that the thread thing to the bottom goes in there like that so I flick her over put it roughly in the middle I'm doing it dry and there's a good reason you cannot get the balls in there without sticking around so at the end of the day uh, I do it dry and it's pretty easy to get grease in there, you just grease the shaft and turn it and the balls go around and everything's all happy. So what we've done is, is he has a collection of 27 balls and I have a collection of 27 balls. And I'll, I'll do the bottom ones, you do the top. And I'll put a bit of, um, that's a grease and a bit of um, gun wash. No, not gun wash, um, wax and grease remover and it just makes them slip in nicely. So I'll leave them out. I've got none left. I think I put all them in it. You didn't mix any up? Yeah. Oh no, that's it. Hang on, just. Oh, you'll see your balls. See your balls ro rotating? Oh, it goes in your side. I'll put my finger over this one. This one. Anyway, so when you turn it, they, they, they literally circulate so and that goes on holds the balls in place because you wouldn't want your balls just flopping around anywhere <laughs> he's going to lube it up can you see that yeah <clears throat> so in time what happens is, is the grease will start circulating around with it and um so that's pretty good here 
So this one will fit in here. Yep. So this one's actually a slightly better one. It's got slightly less bombs on it. I actually don't know those marks that I will you'll see I showed you earlier. I actually have a hunch that's from factory. I don't think that happened in here. So I actually think they're as still as good as the day they were made, these things. Both of them. Okay, I thought I'd um just in case no one knows and you ever do this, this, there's only one way to do this and if you don't know it, well, you're in trouble. So these are your needle roller bearings and they go into the little cage in there and gearboxes are the same if you're ever doing a gearbox and you just put them in like that and then you see you got it, that's your first four and then you just stick your finger in there and you grab some more that I only actually got one that time. Normally when they're brand new, they're not already pre-greased, so these have got grease all over them. So I'll do another batch and then you'll know. So there it is again. Do that. And as you go, you keep, you just work them around a bit to the, well, my left in this case. And um, and you keep going around until you've got none left. And just count your needle rolls before you put them in. Like this is 41 on each side, so there's 82 all up. And just make sure you're not trying to put 42 in because that causes grief. And that's all there is to it. Well, that's them. Just finalizing, I'll just check their smoothness. They all need adjusting, repacking with grease properly, not repacking, but just packing with grease, getting all the nooks and crannies. And um, that's about it. So I, uh, and I have to double check where the gear, gears go that make sure everything's in exactly the right position. But meanwhile, they're pretty good. And I'm, I'm not unhappy with either of them actually. They're both perfectly fine um, steering boxes. They both do the job nicely. And um, don't ignore the fact that they're adjusted incorrectly. Just sitting there. Pretty, they're actually pretty close anyway. They're nearly identical, those boxes. Not much changing in them. So that's it. So cheerio.